In this innocence, we have neither a commitment to this, nor that, nor a preference for this, nor that, nor a need for a preference for this or that, but simply the itness of one's own process, to be motivated to simply be not anything else be because, not to be to do, but simply to be. Innocence is an observer. It isn't anything else. It's aloof. It's not about getting involved. The fall on the hill does not come down into the valley, into the village and talk politics with the tribe, or chit-chat. It doesn't get involved. It watches. You watch the world of suffering. You watch the world of commitment. It doesn't mean you are the world of suffering, and you are the world of commitment. It doesn't mean that at all. moment that you have the transference of the six to the three, to desire, to lead, it's all different. The desire to do something about the suffering, the desire to get involved and be committed, transferred, and the moment that they're inside the soup, they don't get to fulfill their purpose. It's not what they're about. It's not what they're here for. This is not a third color that's there to rush out into that world and do something about it. Show them the way, lead them out of it, follow some master and learn how to help them, and on and on and on. It's not their life. is this deep connection to just being. It's not really a motivation at all. In many ways, its ultimate potential is to be without motivation, totally without motivation. This thing that makes the six not only special, but interesting. It's why it has that quality and the continuity of what sixes are about to be the role model, to be something that's trusted, because there is no motivation behind it. There doesn't appear to be a specific agenda that's pushing it. That's innocence. The classic example of the fool the innocent, that can reveal the truth, that can be the source of wisdom. This is innocence without motivation. Now what that says is something also interesting about the mental process. In other words, thinking is not a byproduct of a because, it's just there. There is no real reason for it to be there because there is no legitimate motivation. Everything about the six is that they're innocent in their process, in the sense that they're innocent in the way in which they operate in relationship to everything else. They're just in their own thing. This is the innocence. Like the personal and the perspective of the six, they're really just in their own thing. And yet, at 
the same time, it's a frequency that draws others. It is a frequency that draws others because of its innocence, because of its uniqueness, of its perception. Because the fact that it doesn't seem to be connected to the various power forces that want to move you in one way or another. of anything because it's off the wheel. It's off the wheel. Buddha's dream, it's off the wheel. And so, when you're dealing with this sixth color, you're dealing with source. Source. And source has no message, seeks no influence. It's just there. It is an extraordinary state. It is the encounter that at its deepest level brings an indescribable satori. Something that many seek in the discipline of meditations. All the things that Buddha was interested in in order out of the body, it makes them so different. They're so different because they're not aligned to purpose. It's one of the things to understand about the mutation of the sixth line itself. They have no purpose. Only the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five have a purpose. The six has no purpose, serves no function. It is either observed or observer. Nothing more, nothing less. So the encounter at this level is very different. This is the magic of true innocence. And true innocence is when the encounter leads to not simply acceptance, surrender to the acceptance of surrender. 